Hello and welcome to Raising the Bar. I'm Jamie Boudreau. Today we're going to do sort of a, a fun drink, but it's not really about the drink today. Today it's about the presentation and the glass that's going in. Summer is rapidly approaching and for me summer means a lot of outdoor activities. And a lot of time it's quite difficult uh, to do good cocktails when you're out in the park or, or out with your friends in the backyard. And so my way around that is to do your cocktails but bottle them. So today we're gonna to do a carbonated bottled cocktail. And we're gonna do this as simply as, as I know how, so uh, most people at home are able to do this. You don't need a whole bunch of bar equipment um, to be able to do this, this kind of drink. So let's start off with uh, our carbonator. Today I'm using the Perlini. You've seen me use this before. Um, realistically, you can use anything that carbonates. Uh, all we're gonna be doing is putting liquid in here and carbonating it and then bottling it. Uh, again, we're doing this as simply as possible with you using as the least amount of capital as possible. So, for me, it's the Perlini. We're going to start with adding one and a half parts of gin. And remember, your cocktail is only as good as your weakest link, so always use good ingredients. So, gin. A little bit of a sweetener, creme vette, and we're going to be doing three quarters of a part of creme vette. Half a part of lemon juice. This lemon juice is going to help cut the sweetness that you just added with the creme vette. Now, if this was a normal cocktail, it wouldn't quite work out, it'd be a little sweet, but we're gonna be carbonating this. And when you carbonate anything, uh, one of the byproducts of carbon dioxide is carbonic acid. So we'll add a little bit of acid to your drink and help balance out what would normally be a sweet drink. Then we're gonna lengthen this drink out a little bit by adding some wine. In this case, we're gonna be using two parts of sparkling cava. Any sparkling wine will do. Actually, because we're carbonating it, any dry wine will do two parts and then we're going to shake and carbonate this. Add a little bit of ice. Your system may not need you to add a little bit of ice in which case I would say add some water. Uh, the more water you add the less the alcohol burn. I'm going to carbonate this now. Give it a shake, get, allow more air to get in. And now we'll shake the cocktail. And we'll let that sit and we'll let the carbon dioxide work its magic and incorporate itself into the liquids. If you're not using a Perlini, this is gonna take a lot longer time, so just give it some time. But it's okay, because you're pre-making cocktails to take with you on the road, so it's all good. The next thing you're gonna need is a bottle to put your cocktail in, and something to cap your cocktail. Because we're doing a carbonated cocktail, we're using a small champagne bottle with a nice little beer cap and a very cheap and, and easy capper. This is not how we do it uh, at Canon. We do it uh, on a much bigger scale because we're doing 40 to 60 of these at a time. But for a nice, quick little road trip with your friends, this is the best way to go. And just think of the possibilities. You can carbonate any cocktail you want. That's me slowly releasing the carbon dioxide. The slower you do this, the more carbon, carbon dioxide is gonna stay within the liquid. You see the foam coming up right now. It's the carbon dioxide releasing. It, allowing yourself to escape outside of the liquid. If I were to open up this up quick, you see a lot of foam and that's a lot of carbon dioxide that you just lost. And now we're gonna pour this into whatever bottle that you have found. Again, when we do this at Canon, we have a system that pressurizes the bottle as well. So all this foaming that's happening right now would not happen, but you still have a ton of carbonation going on in there. So fill up that bottle 
and then as quickly as possible, seal it. And there you have it. A fun little cocktail that is good to go whenever you are. Keep it in a cooler, go off to the campsite, go off to the beach, and uh, enjoy yourself a properly made carbonated cocktail. We're calling this one right here the Ruban Blue Number Two. Sante.